Hey folks, on the water today with Team Torquedo Anglers, Scott Butcher Sup. and Gene Jensen, also known as Fluke Master. Uh, we're we're going to take a new prototype of a Torquedo Ultralight motor out, uh, unlike the, the one that you guys are currently running, uh, which is 400 watts. This one is going to be 1100 watts. Jeez. So more power uh in, in testing i've figured out that it's more efficient even at the lower speeds but i'm gonna let you guys get in there and give it a go you ready yeah i guess so all right oh man before you before you go i'm gonna yep. show some of the um some of what we've been playing around with in terms of the motor lift um it is a heavier motor go ahead and, and give that a tug gene as you can see it's a much larger motor uh, this is a direct drive motor, which one of the features of it means that it's it's silent. This direct drive has no reduction gear uh, noise, so that is is something that uh, I think you guys will enjoy. Also, the you know the delay that you guys are used to to experiencing when you yeah. you push the um, the throttle, yep. it, it will have zero delay. Oh, okay. So that'll be fun. But yeah, we had to do some different things here with the mount, uh, just with with pulleys and such. Gene, go ahead and hit that again. Again, this is a work in progress. So you can see that we had to give a mechanical advantage to lift the heavier motor. So Gene, hop in there and uh, make sure that your seat is in the low position. <laughs> and uh, give it a shot. Oh! Don't roll this. Or do. It'd be do. funny. Yeah. You make a viral video real quick. <laughs> no! We're not going to. Hey, first thing I'm going to do is put the kill switch that's attached to me on it. <laughs> All right. Whoa. I just barely touched it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So this is actually the second generation prototype. Um, we had put another one on the water about a year ago. <laughs> He's off. Um, in you know, early prototype testing, let us know, hey, we do need to do something to to find a way to lift that motor. Uh, we figured that out, and uh, we got some more tweaking to do. Uh, we're looking for this to be a uh, early 2020 product so we got a little bit of of, uh, of, of a wait until we we really work out all the kinks but here it comes <laughs> we're gonna get an inner tube we can ski behind this thing Jeff So the top speed that I've seen so far with this particular boat, 6.4 miles per hour as opposed to 5.2 with a 400 watt. What do you think? Wow, dude. The thing that impresses me, is the, my first impression, it's quiet. I'm talking no hum, no anything, just the sound of the motor, of the, of the prop kicking up the water. It is, oh, I got to get me one of these. <laughs> All right, Scott, your turn. I, I, it's, it's amazing. Let's do this. Man, you gotta hold on. Yeah. Incredible. Absolutely incredible.
tell you what, that thing just goes. All that delay is, it's instant. When you hit it, you're gone. One more flyby, Jeff. You ready? All right, guys. One of my favorite things about uh, seeing the behind the scenes and testing this new Torquedo today is the, the the wattage difference. So with a bigger motor, it actually draws less watts when you're running at the top end. So I, with my 403, I'm topping out at about 5.3 miles an hour. And today, when Jeff was pacing with me with this setup, uh, he his voltage was running in like you know three 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 twenty ish three forty ish as to where I'm topping out at that 400 plus. And so what that means to me is that you can go further and, and, and travel longer using this bigger motor because it's, it's drawing less power at that same speed that I'm running with that 403. So, you know, unless you're really pegging this thing down and running six plus, uh, you know, miles an hour, the only time I want to do that is if I'm getting away from the storm or I'm trying to get to the portal body. So in summary, Torquedo is about to have two different power options for the kayak fishing market. One, the 400 watt ultralight. And this prototype is an 1100 watt motor. And with the example of we of us using the Bonafide SS127, the ultralight gets us up to about 5.2 or 5.3 miles per hour. Uh, with the new 1100 watt motor, uh, we're seeing speeds of 6.4 miles per hour. So with that, there's different uh, battery usage, uh, yep. but I, I am seeing, you know, even at the top speed of the 400 watt, this is a more efficient motor. It's quieter and the throttle is immediate. Awesome.